Hey everybody, so it's time for another viewer submitted video. I asked on Facebook what people thought was the best looking modded bike and these are the answers they gave. I've already done ugliest bike and all sorts of other ones. I should probably make a playlist. Um, <laughs> me and Reno are going to go through these which are the best modded bikes. I've asked for a little bit of information and a picture. Hopefully everyone's followed that and not just a pic uh, posted a picture of their own bike. <laughs> I suspect we're going to be looking at lots of people's own bikes. <laughs> Uh, it started out as a Harley Davidson Street Bob. It does look pretty mm. cool. I do quite like that. I like the blue bit on the um, exhaust. Which is weird because I don't really like that sort of, sort of bike. But it's because it's not a Harley. It looks like it's actually been set up to be rideable. Though it's very <laughs> long wheelbase. Mm. Um, I don't right. think I like that one. So... Okay, they've not given us any information as to what it was. So I'm going to have to try and work that out. I recognise these bits mm. here from like something, I can't think what it is, but this is a turbo. <laughs> That's why basically it's, yeah, they've put a huge tyre on it, it looks like it's had a single sided swing arm. They've done a custom seat turboed, that frame doesn't look quite right. And then a strange little headlight. Um, yeah, not my cup of tea, I can't say it's the best modded bike in the world, but <laughs> each their own. Royal Enfield Continental GT with fairings. Fish. They do look like trout. <laughs> they do look like little fishes. It's quite nice. I wouldn't. I can't say it's the. It, it, yeah, it doesn't look that custom. It looks pretty stock for what it should be. Guy Martin's bike that he did uh, Pike's Peak on. I. It is very, very utilitarian. Like it's designed. It's been built to do a job. It's an engine and wheels, nothing else. But it is amazing to ride. Uh, but. I, I, I've seen nicer looking bikes. Yeah, I don't really like the look of it, to be fair. Scrambler R9T. Uh, no. I, no, they haven't. It's just a R9T Scrambler and they just put giant <laughs> fat tyres on it. It's not going to be great for doing much. It's pretty heavy. I hope they've improved the suspension as well. Otherwise, <laughs> oh my God. Not hating the R9T. I absolutely love that bike. Mm. This was once a Duke 390. As far as conversions go, that actually is pretty nice. Mm. I don't know why they've branded it Royal Enfield. <laughs> I wouldn't have done that. I would have just... Because it's not. <laughs> but, yeah, I mean, obviously I think this needs to be changed. Oh, no, you can get covered in mud if you don't have that. Yeah. It's, everyone's like, yeah, tail tidy, tail tidy. No one tells you you're going to get covered in mud. <laughs> Mm, yeah, I do like that quite I like a lot. I like that one too. But I would have equally liked to have seen it with a white frame and wheels. Mm, yeah. Some company has been making three-wheeler conversions of Harleys. Could rival the Yamaha Nikon. Oh, so they've... It looks like a little... It looks it like does, Brum yeah. at the front. <laughs> if you know what, who Brum is, hit that like button. <laughs> we will get three likes because of that. <laughs> I can't say it's the best custom, but I probably it almost. It's kind of cute. It's like a little ladybug. It makes a lot of sense though, because it's very low down the front end, yeah. opposed to the Nikon that's really high up. It, I bet that ride really nicely, but yeah, that is not a bike. What? Is... Oh, that was a bike. Oh, yeah, it was. It looks like a. Uh... Oh my god. <laughs> now it's a quad. It's well, it's not a bike anymore, so it can't be the best custom bike. But as far <laughs> as quads go, that would be quite cool because yeah. it really is sitting on a bike. Mm. But I imagine the steering would feel really weird. Well, it'd feel like a quad. Uh, I don't know what that's like. Tail tidy is the best mod in my option. I don't think you quite understood the question. <laughs> but no actually I could see how you could ask say what is the best modification rather than just mm. bike uh, tail tidy yes they do make a, a, well every bike look better again no one tells you about the mud <laughs> XJ6 with Lexil GP exhaust tail tidy. Okay, this is your own bike it's a divvy a converted divvy considered like should I take the fairing off of divvy and then it's like what's the point in taking the fairing off divvy it kind of needs it for me, definitely my GP bike, the amount of technology, aerodynamics, every feature on the bike has to be modified to the best of the knowledge of the beastly bike. Yeah, I do agree. 
but they are set by set, oh i would like to see what a company would produce if they had no rules like i would like to see no rule f1 oh god which is this is a track you get around it as fast as you possibly can with four wheels how much more exciting would that be? <laughs> a lot of people will die. Yeah, I was going to say, how many more deaths will there be? But that's the thing, that's what made F1 boring. Mm. It's more regulations and everything to make it more um, safe, safe yeah. which I totally get, but I don't think the racers are too concerned about that side of it. No. But then again, back in the early, early part of Formula One, when a lot of people were dying and they weren't doing anything for the drivers, the drivers weren't happy about it. Yeah. So I can kind of understand, actually, why they probably would like the safety. Because at the end of the day, they want to do it as a job, not... It's like every race being the TT. <laughs> uh, nicely, tastefully modded CB500. I like that. I like that as well, Ish. actually. Yeah, I feel like... I'm not sure about the pinstripe around the tank mm. because you always want that to... Well, you kind of want that to be a sweeping line and that is not a... It's like... Eh, 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 eh. But then without that... I it, feel like it needs something at the bottom. And the seat looks a little short. Or less at the top. It looks too short. It can't... Right for me. I'm small. I'll fit that I mean, lengthwise <laughs> this way, not height. No, I, I think it's... Mm, Different swing arm 50, as well. 50. That's a stock swing arm. Yeah. It's all right. It has been nicely done. Yeah. I do agree. The Viper V10. It's just a That's silly like a bike. Train. Well, no, it's the it's the engine out of a Viper, which is a car. It's. I don't like that one. I think he looks a bit unsure of it as well. He looks like his name's Nigel. One of that one. <laughs> My current project bike. <laughs> I would love to do a video. On that. <laughs> That's all. Ooh. My Gladius. Oh, I don't like. I don't like the f boob. Boob. Yeah, the the headlight looks like a boob. I don't see it. If from the front, if you could, and if you cupped it. If you don't have any boobs to grab, you can grab your bike headlight and pretend yes. it's a. But hot, this is not boob. what we were talking about. No, I kind of like the purpley bit, but I feel like it might need more of it. Oh god, it's a tiny little image. <laughs> it's the. Jixa 750 from Biker Boys. Oh, oh God. God. <laughs> that film. Is that the one where he drives into the hedge and, like, says hi to that woman? That like, basically nearly runs her over and he's like, hi, and she's like... I don't know. I We've, there's only three biker films I can think of. Wild Hogs, Talk, and Biker Boys. And, oh, my God. <laughs> uh, oh. Might be a little biased, the, the stickers, which I'm calling... I'm, yeah, no. <laughs> I appreciate you might like it, but that's hardly um, the best modded bike. Oh, I... Yamaha XT660 with camera oh, wrap, full exhaust system, large stainless... So this is your bike, I'm guessing. Um, it does look quite cool. I like the building in the background. What happened to it? Was it built into the wall? Did the wall fall on it and destroy no, they the carve rest it of the out. building? Well, and I then like build it. out of it a bit. They, those are obviously bricks. Or they... Chewed. It looks like they've been cut in, and then and then they kind of gave up. I wonder if this person's saddened by the fact that we've paid more attention uh, to the building <laughs> in the background in his bike. Oh, sorry. <laughs> I'm getting thinking this is all. Yeah, look, best looking 125 out there. One. I kind of like it, and I don't at the same time. It's a bit fun little 125. Yeah. But this yeah. is not what this video is about. Uh, no. Uh, <laughs> that is not the best. But modded bike in the world <laughs> maybe but it depends on what set of rules you apply that is a reliant robin <laughs> finally oh, right, that looks uh, nice. one of the coolest bikes i've seen has to be the custom ktm 950 by hazan motorworks it looks kind of like a husqvarna well, that's because Husqvarna and KTM are the same company. Oh, okay, that makes sense. Now, then. anyway, so the KTM, the 690 and the 701 are basically the same bike, mm. even though they have the same, I think they actually have the exact same engine. I feel like everything works really nicely. Like, it, I don't really like very angular bikes, if they're too right. angular, but that, it, it, everything kind of works on it, doesn't it? I would like this to be a little bit wider and maybe a little bit longer. It just looks a little bit, like a little pecky It's nose. like a snake going, pss, coming out, going, pss. Trying to get you. It's a little I'm not cold, sure gonna... how much airflow that radiator is getting sideways. Mm, yeah. But it looks nice. Though. It does look very nice. I agree. This is your bike. Look. Stop jizzing on your it's bike. Like my bike. It's the same as mine. Well, actually, it's the newer version. 
Uh, this is again, I'm pretty sure someone's own bike, but as far as R1s go, it does look very nice I and I like the stealthy. lights at the front, the little flush headlights, not headlights, indicators. I did that to Divi. Flush, fi- flush indicators are always good. I thought about it for mine, but it looks like it wouldn't look right. Oh, it's teeny. It is a Grom <laughs> with a Ducati. What? A 1199 engine. What? 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 I'm amazed that fits in there. <laughs> oh my god. I mean, it's insane. Um, <laughs> if if you were going to go into the, the sort of like category of, of why, <laughs> just because, oh my god. that is close to being a winner. Yeah. Street Hawk, I completely agree. Street Hawk should be the best modded bike in the world. <laughs> up to 300 miles an hour. Oh, God. Okay, so now we're on the Spice 110 community group. Join if you'd like to. There's over a thousand members at this point. It's very good for getting uh, helpful information, advice, and a laugh. Um, sorry if I've messed this up before. I thought I always had the same comments, but it's a completely different set of comments from the group. Uh, so... Sorry about the past, if I've missed anything out. But anyway, uh, we've already looked at this one, so what's this? Uh, This is one of the heavily modified NSR500 GP replica. It uses the Suzuki GRG500 engine. It's about as good race replica as you get Rothman's paint cut. It's very pretty. It is. I absolutely I love the shape of the front and the the tail sticking up. Even though it's a bigger tail end. I feel like if it was a bit lower down, not as high up, a bit less chunky. That yeah, if they just really brought the nice. size down a little yeah. bit on that. But you promise you the exhaust are in there and they get oh. hot. Mm. So you'd be burning your ass if you make it any smaller. But that looks very, very nice. Yeah, it's very pretty. My two stroke no. <laughs> <laughs> that, this is my sinus blade. I'm having a full rebuild by myself. Well, good on you. <laughs> this is something I'm gonna have to consider I'm not gonna say anymore. I'm waiting for a tool. Oh yeah, by the way. The bike, um, like, working on my bike videos, they are coming, but I'm waiting on a tool. And unfortunately, post systems seem to be a bit slow at the moment. My old Sinis Apache. No! <laughs> my f- <laughs> my 426. No! <laughs> uh, Ducati Monster. Oh, God. That's very shiny. I like I don't, the shine, but I don't, I don't, I don't like, like the colour scheme like or anything. I don't like anything about that. No. And I really... Well, I like the um, chain and the sprocket thing. That's nice. Well, that's nice. stock. Oh. Pretty much. <laughs> wow. Keep it stock. I've seen one of those bikes in person. Check out your monster. I've ridden one. Have you? When? No, not a monster. What am I talking about? Oh. I've ridden the Scrambler. <laughs> Mm, no. Is it modded? Yes, it's modded. It's made to be a cafe, so that's. Oh, okay. But mm. not my, not necessarily my full cup of tea. That's another picture. Oh, there we go. There we go. Information that people will be asking. I mean, it's nice. It's those style of bikes, but I can't say it's the best in the world. Uh, even though it's a one two five, that's a Grom. That's a pretty cool looking little Grom. I don't. It's not my style. That but... style of headlight, they do one for the DRZ, and I do not like it. <laughs> on this, it's much smaller, and it's I'm like... Yeah, it's like you're very it's cute, little techie isn't beak. it? Yeah, I'm not going to say it's the best modded bike in the world, but what? You missed one. I missed one? Yeah, underneath that one. So I did. Uh, no information as to what it is. It looks like it was... What's happening to the front of it? On this? Yeah. Um... I don't know. I thought someone took a bracket off of it. And it's got a stock thing. exhaust on it still, or what looks like a stock exhaust. It's, yeah, but it kind of works with it in a way. It looks like a transformer. <laughs> it does. It's not bad looking, it's not good looking, it's very meh for me. That is a bike with a rotary engine. Oh god. Again, I'm not going to go on someone else's website. Before. Oh, it's cute. And after. It's a, that looks like a mini LCR. <laughs> it um, looks like beast. a mini R1. Yeah. That <clears> really looks like it. <laughs> it's so cute. It's like a baby version. You could probably flat foot that as well. Uh, hey, yeah, I probably could actually. <laughs> um, oh my good god. I don't know why they've spaced it so far out from the bike. Space for pillion? Legs? How big's the pillion? Yeah, but I don't know. 
That's. I've seen worse. I'm sure they can go a long way and take Have you a seen lot. the lights on the front? Yes, I've seen the lights on the front. I've also seen the fact they're using a, pl- a block of wood <gasps> and that because they've jacked this bike up so high oh that the side stand doesn't work. XJ600S, once upon a time. That has been nicely done. I'm not, mm. I would have preferred if it had a pointy tail than a rounded tail. Yeah, same. But the paint looks pretty. Yeah, it does. It looks like Damascus. I guess that's a wrap. I don't know. But considering the state it was in before. <laughs> yeah. If you're not going to restore it to how it was supposed to be originally, then yeah, that's not bad. It's very neat. BMW, you've got these unique engines which are just... They don't look like engines. No, it doesn't. It looks... They're very nice looking. Like Jet thing. The R, the new, one of the new bikes has got an engine shaped like that, and it's. I think it's going to be a good selling point because it is so unique. Mm. Oh, get close to my bike, and Excellent I'll cut you. Way to get weight reduction by removing your fingertips. Yes, you're absolutely right. <laughs> That's an actual blade. If you have a crash and your fingers are on there, oh my god, it will chop them all off. And you're meant to have your fingers on there anyway, yes. aren't you? So yes, well, unless you like, unless you like me, who puts their <laughs> fingers over their clutch and then has five thousand comments all of a sudden. Or what I'm... you do is, any time you park your bike anywhere, you put them on. So if someone steals it, then they crash, then they'll cut their fingers your off. Your bike's already and they been stolen. And da- yeah, your bike's already been stolen and damaged though. Hmm. I didn't think that through. I've had my fingers, I've held onto the bar when um, I've hit something and it crushes your fingers between the bar and the thing and it really hurts. Yeah, I don't sure. know how I didn't break fingers doing that, but it was, I'm trying to remember which crash it happened in. I think it happened in, definitely happened in one of the fence when I went for fence. <laughs> Very long time ago. Bit of a marmite one, chromed and all polished sports bike popular during the 2000s. Fairly rare now. Oh, I do I remember this like time. I like it. In a way. They just polished the frame and yeah, I mean that silver, the silver and silver. Mm. It looks quite nice. Um I feel like it needs like a sticker or something right on the bottom bit. So no. it kind of like cuts it a little bit like Maybe. as in like right on this bit here. I like silver on bikes though. It's not used that often. Looks nice. Kawasaki H2 Mac 4 750. My god. There's a lot going on on that. I mean, if, if for the style of what that bike is, yeah, it's been done all right. I'm just not, it's not really mine. We've already looked at this one. <laughs> what oh, oh, on earth is this? It is a, it's got NOS. It's oh. probably quick. Oh. But yeah. I um, don't even know what to say about that. Here's when you spicy. see my stepdad's Triumph Rocket 3 paint job with Cypher Lots down to the boat. Not my style. Yeah. It's not, you know, I'd, uh, it's been very well done, but it's a, I, I prefer plain paint schemes. <coughs> Hippodrones, I believe this is his <laughs> own bike. <laughs> I'm kind of biased it, yeah. It's a good good see. It is very nice. Yeah, it does look very nice. Well, I think that is basically it. That's the end of it. Right, well, thank you very much for entering your uh, submissions. If you didn't agree with the submissions, please remember that they are entered by the viewers. And if you yep. wish to enter yours next time, then show everyone what's following. what. Then you need to follow, like, subscribe, do all these things. You Oh, no, you ask them to do these things. They do it more often than you. If you think you know what is the best or the worst of something and you want it to be featured, then you need to be following. Otherwise, if you are not following and you don't post it, then it will not be seen. That's just simple science <laughs> <laughs> you've been told <laughs> right um okay well i will be posting the next topic soon on facebook i'm not sure what it'll be uh but soon there'll be another one of these videos and we can go through and have a look at what you submit thank you for joining us goodbye goodbye if you enjoyed this video please remember to hit the like button and subscribe to see future videos this channel is made possible by the support of the audience. Please consider joining my Patreon to get early access to videos, questions answered in the monthly Q&A, your name on screen, and some exclusive content, all for as little as a dollar a month. You can also check out the links in the description to my merch and other ways to directly support the channel. Thanks for watching.